So good afternoon. Uh, I'm Didier Velzek, uh, software engineer. Um, I'm leading the Synergy uh, IO team. Um, and today I will present you how to uh, integrate uh, C++ uh, and C applications into Synergy. I will start first by a short um, a demo just to give you a hint of what uh, we are doing. Uh, so right now I have a, a small uh, device, uh, so a small sensor uh, connected, to, connected to Raspberry Pi using uh, GPIO uh, through the C uh, square I, uh, ASCII square um, bus. And uh, this device is sending data uh, on, uh, on Synage and I can see all the data on the, on the, on the cloud. And so I will just show you how to do that uh, uh, right now. So um, what are the challenge to, 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 to connect uh, such a uh, sensor to the a device and then to the cloud? If you focus on just one uh, sensor, one kind of device on one cloud, uh, one we can say that it's not so complex. So you, after all, this is just uh, another protocol, just uh, another uh, level of complexity, yes, but something that is manageable. The issues come when you have to uh, deal with uh, a secure connection, to, 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 uh, uh, to use a certificate, uh, to, use, uh, to have something that is um, reliable, uh, whatever the connection issues. And to, to do that for different kind of uh, cloud, different kind of um, uh, southbound protocols, uh, to have an, a sensor that can provide the data uh, to a large um, uh, um, variety of uh, applications and components. You don't want just to have data, you, just, you want to process this data uh, using a large variety of components and to, to be able to send them of a different kind of cloud, uh, avoiding uh, some uh, render locking. And for that, you uh, you can use Synage. So the point of Synage is to, 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 to be able to, to develop independent components, uh, for instance, uh, components that will consume uh, uh, data coming from different kinds of sensor, and to push this data uh, to various kinds of cloud uh, using uh, two, uh, two components that will help you. First, the MQTT bridge will deal with all the um, uh, security issues, uh, certificates, uh, authentication, uh, be, um, bidirectional authentication. The cloud will be authenticated on the, on the device, and vice versa, the device is authenticated on the cloud. And uh, this MQTT bridge will also deal with uh, queue the messages in case of um, uh, uh, some uh, network outage. So a first level we uh, manage as this, uh, by the MQTT bridge. A second level, the so data mapper, that will help you to uh, simply translate uh, agnostic, message, agnostic messages sent on the bus to, uh, to translate them to something specific. Uh, to uh, a cloud, uh, Cumulosity, Azure, whatever. This bus can also be used to uh, connect uh, third-party modules uh, to uh, consume your data, so for consume the different data. But it's also an opportunity for um, um, a provider for, of this um, uh, kind of um, engine uh, to uh, Yes, to, 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 to process data coming from a large variety of sensors, but also to, to be, it's, it's, it's this kind of, these engines can also um, benefit um, the various um, features of Synage. For instance, a machine learning engine can um, have its um, models downloaded using device management. You will have to implement a specific plugin to store uh, and uh, your, your um, models on the correct place. And provided that, your engine will be able to uh, uh, um, collect this model from the cloud. So 
just a seal layer, I will show you uh, this layer, MQTT uh, bus, uh, will help you uh, to implement uh, various um, uh, sources um, uh, data processors and to interact uh, uh, between uh, all these uh, components. So back to the, um, uh, to the code. Uh, just showing you what is, um, what I, I run is is, um, is a very um, small sensor uh, BME uh, 280, and uh, I, I just want to have a look to what I have to do uh, to implement uh, something to read the data locally. So this is uh, uh, a device that is using I2C, and um, to 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 read the data. Firstly, it's not so complex uh, on the surface. I just have to uh, connect the, the I2C bus uh, to know the correct uh, uh, address for the data, to configure the device here with different oversampling, uh, to tell what I want to measure. And uh, obviously, uh, the, the complexity is not here. The complexity is in some library. Uh, uh, sorry, sorry. Uh, the complexity is uh, um, in the library. Here, I simply use a library uh, uh, available for that sensor. The true complexity is here. Here, I just want to be able to uh, uh, get this data. So I get uh, some sampling every two seconds, and I just uh, emit this data. So this is a local program, and I want to uh, have this uh, working to uh, connect it to the cloud. I will just start with um, a direct connection to the cloud. So uh, this is um, I, I simply using um, uh, an example co coming from uh, on a community website. You have an example to send data to community. So you will need to, uh, if you compare the program uh, uh, to the previous one, as they are very similar. You just need to have a new um, MQTT client uh, library. In that case, I'm using uh, MQTT uh, or MQTT. You will need to be able to publish data on the on the, on some um, MQTT topic, uh, so some uh, message, and you and the next part is to be able to connect. Uh, to uh, to MQTT, so you 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 need to um, endpoint. In that case, this is the endpoint. Since I want to connect directly to the cloud, I need to uh, specify the endpoint where I wish to connect. I need an account, and I will need to provide a password or better uh, a certificate. And then I simply connect to my cloud. And if you look at the code, the code is everything is similar. I just had to send data uh, to the cloud using publish instead of uh, putting everything on the console. Now we have some, I, will, I was about to say tricky, it's not tricky, it's just you have to know that on community, uh, you have to send your data on this topic and that you have to, um, all kind of measurements as um, pre, uh, pre configured with some uh, number to say uh, this number, for instance, mean uh, that is a temperature. You can uh, obviously uh, uh, publish different kinds of measurements, but uh, since they are not uh, predefined, you will have to uh, um, send some messages to community to tell, oh, I wish to publish, uh, say, a pressure. And so uh, I decided to, to keep this number to. Uh, uh, to um, code the pressure. So not complex, but definitely uh, 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 cumulative specific. So uh, I can just uh, make sure that this thing is working. Uh, so I can run it. Uh, I have to connect because uh, this time I'm connecting directly to the cloud. And I'm finding my data. I can just double check that everything is working. This time this is not on this device because I don't know if uh, you notice, but uh, um, 
I was sending the data to a specific device, directory connection to the cloud. And here, I have measurements. I have my measurements. So, not so complex, but um, cloud specific. And with Synedge, I will be able to do uh, something that is later. I will just pick my, my program, so uh, same program. And now I want to do something with uh, a Synedge. I'm, I'm still using MQTT. I will connect the local MQTT uh, bus. So this is the local MQTT bus. This time I don't need to have uh, an address specific to a cloud. I don't need any uh, uh, credentials to connect this uh, local bus. Um, but um, my device will be authenticated to the cloud. So it is, it is something important. My code is simpler, but the, the, um, uh, the features are more um, involved. I don't need to uh, create the device. Again, uh, this is done by Cumulacity, uh, by Synage, sorry. For the message, same thing. I will, I will, I will be able to um, uh, to send uh, different kinds of messages. Uh, this is a bit more involved, so I will copy part something for a different uh, piece of code. Uh, so here is my code. And so instead of sending data with a specific uh, uh, code, I would be able to send the JSON data. Uh, so uh, some clear tests that can be understood by uh, any application. So on that point, I see this is simpler. And instead of sending data to a specific uh, uh, cloud-specific uh, topic, I will send to uh, some local topic that is uh, sure uh, touch uh, Synage dependent. Uh, I will have a word about that uh, later. So just I changed my, my code. So just to have something working locally. So now I can uh, run this. I'm sending the data on the local bus. I can see what is going on behind the scene. I will just uh, send again this with um, all the messages uh, I send it to. Hello, hello, hello. Yes. Oh, hello, sorry. And um, and now I can see what all the messages uh, sent on the local bus. I have the measurements sent by my program to uh, the TEDGE measurements system uh, topic. And I have other uh, measurements signed by a program, the mapper, that translate everything to something that can be understood by uh, Cumulosity. And this is sent to a very sp a specific topic, uh, Cumulosity uh, topic. And this topic is uh, uh, handled by the bridge. So, sorry. And the bridge is a process uh, run, uh, that run uh, in the background, and that is configured. Uh, so everything to the, I will just show you the configuration of these topics, of uh, this bridge. So, image. And all the, uh, so there is a mapping different different kind of topics locally on my bus. Uh, something starting with a, a prefix stating for community and some uh, uh, remote uh, topic. And the key points are that my device is 
authenticated. I will, I, I'm using a certificate and a private key, and I'm authenticating the, uh, the cloud part and so on. So there is a, a secure connection on site point. Everything is on the, behind the scene by, uh, by CNH. On the cloud, I can see all my events at that time coming on the CNH device. So this one, yes. So my, my, everything is coming uh, on this uh, community, thanks to the bridge and the mapper. So um, the benefits of uh, Synage is that uh, to, to integrate uh, an application to Synage is a very light effort. Uh, the integration layer is very thin, and you have quite a lot of benefits from the uh, connectivity and interoperability uh, side. Uh, your connections are secure. Uh, you can uh, connect to different kinds of clouds. You can uh, use other components uh, to uh, consume your data or to uh, have the different various uh, sources. And your component uh, will also be used by others. You are providing some uh, analytic engine. This engine will be uh, uh, can be uh, can use any uh, uh, sources and will send his data to various clouds. And doing so, we are not bound to Synage. Uh, we are not uh, using a specific toolchain. We are just using MQTT and JS uh, that are uh, widely used for IoT. And we, we just have uh, some uh, edge measurement topic. Uh, you don't have to have this hard coded. You can send your data to any topic, and to choose, uh, even you, customer, will choose to send uh, your da uh, the data to the stage measurement topic to forward everything to the cloud. But you can uh, use another intermediate uh, topic uh, for pre-processing uh, to uh, dispatch data on your uh, MQTT local bus. So just to as a summary. A very light uh, effort to integrate uh, a an, an, uh, component into Synage and uh, connectivity and interoperability uh, benefits. Thank you. And uh, I'm handing it back over to you, uh, Phil. 